not see them on a typical day, but they're there. Artist studios are dotted throughout Newark. And once a year, the Open Doors Citywide Arts Festival does just what it says, opens the doors to these hidden creative enclaves. There were many artists in Newark of all stripes who were essentially passing each other on the street. So there really was no uh, sense of community, although there were artists who had been in the city for decades. So the city's Arts Council started the festival to connect people, linking artists with other artists and those seeking studios with the empty workspaces to fill their needs. Particularly at that time, there was lots of available space throughout the city unused commercial space, vacant industrial spaces, and of course artists uh, were looking at that space and salivating. Oglesby estimates the number of artists setting up shop in Newark to have quadrupled since the event started 13 years ago. It's now an 11-day festival of gallery crawls, performances, and of course the open studio tour. Aleish Martinez has jumped at the chance to visit Lisa Sanders' workspace at Solo's Project House. The two are artists and also neighbors. There's no formula for everyone and everyone has this totally different process that when you're not seeing the finished work, you're seeing, you know, the, the nuts and bolts of it. I think like that sometimes that's more inspiring. Martinez's interest in the festival extends beyond the art itself. He's a lifelong resident of Newark. It was the number one most dangerous city in America, which is something people just can't let go of. And, and artists would change the energy here. And the most shocking part to me is people moving to Newark voluntarily. His neighbor is one of them. Sanders moved to Newark recently from Montclair, finding this studio space and the city too good to pass up. I have never found any space, and I looked through the tri-state area that was as affordable in such a good place to live, so connected to the city as right here. Oglesby continues to work on locking down spaces where artists can create. He's convinced the city will benefit. Studies have shown consistently that business and industry follows the arts. Artists bring the kind of quality of life that make it attractive for businesses to want to relocate there because there are things for them to do. And he thinks the artists will benefit too. There's been the opportunity for this sort of cross-fertilization. The fact that, you know, I learn from you, you learn from me, and hopefully that advances all of our careers. New artist studio spaces just became available this month, and there are more to come. In the meantime, art lovers can check out studios already in use as Open Doors Citywide Arts Festival continues through the weekend. In Newark, I'm Maddie Orton for NJTV News.